Hello everyone, I am Divyanshi Raghuvanshi. I am Dishita Chopre. And I am Samya Arora. We the students of class 7th are here to motivate you with few motivational stories. So now I am going to tell you about the life story of Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Mahindra Singh Dhoni was born on 7th July 1981 in Rachi, Bihar. He was very passionate about cricket and he wanted to prove himself in this sport. So he became a part of the Commando Cricket Club and an under 16 championship after that. Dhoni was finding a job that could fund his growing interest in cricket. So he got selected for the role of a ticket collector in a railway station. While managing his job, Dhoni continued playing several tournaments as well. After several tournaments, he got selected to play the Ranji Trophy and the Udhar Trophy. Dhoni's hard work paid off when the Indian team selected him for an ODI series against Bangladesh. But his luck didn't play well. The next match was his shot. Luck played in his favour the next time as he was selected for the Pakistan series. He led the Indian team to the ICC World 2020 Trophy in South Africa. Team India successfully won the match by defeating the Pakistani team. So from this story, we learned that we should never give up. We should try really hard to achieve our goals and achieve them. Thank you everyone. Wish you all a successful future ahead. And now, Dishita will tell you about the life story of Sushmita Sen. Sushmita Sen is an Indian actress, model and the winner of Miss Universe 1994 page. Her dream was to become Miss World. But as they were middle class family, they didn't have enough money to afford designer outfits. Her mother did not want her daughter's dream to remain unfulfilled. So, she bought a new fabric from the market and gave it to a local tailor downstairs and asked him to make a good dress from it. She made a small rose from the remaining bit of cloth. And she also bought new socks, cut it, added elastic to it and Sushita wore them as gloves. So finally, that day, wearing that dress and winning Miss World fulfilled her dream. But God did not plan only this much for her. After winning Miss World, she also won Miss Universe. So, from her life we get the point that to win, money is not a requirement. The intention should be right. Thank you everyone. Now Samya will apprise the life story of Ratan Tata. Ratan Tata, who is now an Indian industrialist, philanthropist and the former chairman of Tata Group, was born on 28 December 1937. He studied at the Campion School till 8th class and graduated from Riverdale Country School. He struggled very much to win an empire, once was like other shopkeepers on a retail store of Tata's tea. He, uh, his success story begins in 70s when he was given the companies like Nelco and Empress Miles. 1991 was a turning point in life of Ratan Tata when J.R.D. Tata retired from the chairmanship of Tata Group and took the name of Ratan Tata to be the successor of his throne. In my opinion, he is the most prominent Indian leader whose inner values are outer action, demonstrate and involved with higher responsible leadership. Thank you.